What is going on everybody? Dad Tech TV back with another video and today I have another box. We're gonna open it and we're gonna see what I got. Alright guys, so this one we're just gonna kinda take a look at and rip open. No tape or anything on it. Let's see what we got here. Another box inside a box. And oh there it is. This right here is the OBD Link MX Plus. So it's an OBD2 reader. So this is kind of where my geeky computer side mixes in with my love of motorsports, cars, uh, motorcycles, things like that. But for OBD2, this is going to be for cars. Uh, so I finally got one of these. I've always wanted an OBD2 reader and I, for some reason I just never bought one. Right now, you know, being a little bit older, me and Dad, I, I, got, I got the Dadmobile. I got a Ford Fusion. It's a titanium. It's got a 2 liter turbo in it. Um, but nothing that special. So this is just for fun to kind of see what we can do. Uh, for those familiar with Ford, there is a software out there called Forescan. Very strange name, but it allows you to basically read everything on that car, but also write back, which is the pretty cool part. So we're gonna open this up. Get uh, my favorite knife here. Let's take a look. One of the other things I want to do with this, uh, so with Forescan you can actually basically turn on a bunch of features that don't come standard with some of the cars. You can even do things like add on um, navigation to cars that didn't come with navigation. You do need to also purchase an SD card with the maps on it. But it's kind of cool because you can turn on a lot of features that maybe you didn't have stock or things that aren't turned on by default that you can do. So let's open this up and take a look. This is a very nice, very small device. Um, this is one of the uh, fastest ones on the market. It's also one of the more expensive one though. It's uh, Bluetooth. The MX Plus is the newer one that can connect with iPhone and Android and with your computer over Bluetooth. So I'm excited. This also um, is automatic switching between the different modules that you need for Fords. Right now it is nighttime outside. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know who films at night. We'll see how this video actually comes out, but we're going to try and hook this into my car and see how it connects for the first time. All right, guys, here we are with the uh, Dadmobile. It's a 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium. So we're going to get in here and check out what we're doing. So underneath here, we're going to see. You can see right there, ODB port. ODP2 port. So we're going to plug in. Alright guys, so new day. I tried videotaping this the other night. Uh, nighttime did not work out well. It looked like crap. I also have decided to try something new where I'm going to try and record on my phone and overlay into the video. If you're watching this and it looks like that, then it was a success. If it doesn't look like that, then it was not a success. But let's see what we can do. So what you're seeing in the video right now is on the driver's side, all the way on the left, you can see the port for the OBD Link MX Plus, the OBD2 port. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that and I'm going to plug it in. Now the car is completely off. The interesting part is that even though the car is off, I still get a light. So we're going to hit the engine start button so that we're just going to get power to the car, which is suggested on the way to do it. And then on here you can see I have an iPhone 11. I'm going to be going into the Bluetooth settings under settings. Now I'm going to press this little button. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little button on the left side. That's going to put it into Bluetooth discovery mode. And we should see it pop up here in a minute. And there it is, OBD Link MX Plus. It has a number on it. I'm going to click on there. And we are connected. Look at that. That's all you have to do. Now I'm going to go back to the main screen. I'm going to bring up the different utilities that I have. So the one that comes with it is called OBD Link. It's free if you purchase this. So that's the one we're going to focus on now. We're not going to look at Foreskin or any of the other apps that I have on here. So when it comes up, you're going to get this screen. I was going to ask you a whole bunch of stuff that you don't really care about. Here's your different options. But what we need to do first is click connect. When we click connect, it's going to automatically find the interface and connect. So 
So we can see it doing a bunch of stuff. The lights are going crazy. We're reading off of it. And we are now connected, which is pretty awesome. So your settings are just going to be some basic settings of what's going on. Um, because this is specific to Ford, we I went through the install the other night and it looked like crap when I did it. Maybe I'll throw up some um, short video footage of that. I was recording with the GoPro to my phone rather than just recording on my phone. Let's do a connect. Registration required. As part of the connection process, OBD link must register your adapter. I agree. Interface connected. Trying protocol automatic. Reading vehicle information, if you can see that. New vehicle connected. Oh, sorry, 2016 Ford Fusion. I said 2017. It's a 2016 Ford Fusion 2 liter Echo Boost. Pretty cool. So it actually corrected me. It says that there's an enhanced OEM add on. So I'm going to get that, let it download. And it wants me to fill out my information. So I'll be back after I do that. This uh, app has specific downloads for specific make and model cars. So we downloaded the Ford uh, Fusion uh, from 2016 and it has a uh, code specific to that. Basically what happened is that I had to put my name in and everything. I had to register. I, I don't think I had to, but it wanted me to. Um, it also didn't download that update. It wanted me to disconnect from the device disconnect and then download and download it it was interesting because it actually said you want to buy this module i clicked on buy to see how much it was because it was strange because i thought it came with it once i clicked on buy then it said it was free so it downloaded the specific modules for the 2016 ford fusion titanium so let me click yes scanning you are now connecting to an enhanced network which is intended for diagnostic purposes only all right scan complete Network scan is complete. Press OK to continue connecting. It says you're connecting to a vehicle that includes multiple diagnostic networks. Depending on the options installed in your vehicle, some network or modules might not be available. So please select a diagnostic network. Reading vehicle information, OBD link needs to scan your vehicle. For support enhanced PIDs, you should only continue if your vehicle is in park and not in motion, yes. So this takes a while to connect the first time. So now if we go under diagnostics, one of the cool things here, um, continue, we're just gonna do generic OBD2 for now. Reads codes, goes through. But what I'm interested in is that under the report, you let it run through here. And what we want is the PID snapshot. So basically what that is, is that it goes out and reads all the codes that this computer has, and then it tells you the ones that it actually got readings on. So there might be a whole bunch of different things that sensors that your car doesn't have. So this is a snapshot of what it actually found. So if you want to do logging and it's like, okay, there's like 12 different um, O2 sensors on here, which one do I need? Well, this will help you get to that. So. Uh, freeze frame oxygen center is going to error out because I think I just did the generic. Um, if I did other ones, it would have worked out well. So this is going through. Reading data. And now we're going to click on the PID snapshot. And here we can see all the different things. So fuel system one status, uh, calculated load, engine coolant temp. So this is all the stuff that it has readings for. Obviously the car's not on, so it's zero RPM, zero mile per hour. But now we can use this to do any kind of logging because we know that we can get readings off of these sensors. So here's O2 sensor lambda, bank one, sensor one, right? But sometimes there's like bank one, sensor two. So we know which one to actually pull from. So this is pretty cool. Now let's go back. Um, dashboard is really cool. These are default dashboards. So this is gonna tell us mile per hour, engine temperature, MAF reading, RPM, fuel rate, battery. Uh, vehicle speed, you know, these are just different looking sense, um, different looking gauges, O2 sensor one, the O2 sensor two. So the interesting part here is that O2 sensor two actually gives a reading and O2 sensor one does not. Um, and then it has the boost gauge, which I find pretty cool. So I'm gonna pull the camera up now and I'm gonna kind of get a driving view of what's going on. We're gonna record some more, but I gotta get the camera set up. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I think we're set up to go for a little drive. We can check out what this dashboard does. So I'm going to click back on dashboards, and we're going to see what we have. I'm going to start the car up. 
and it says we're not connected so i gotta connect again i had connected back to my gopro so i guess that disconnected this and we'll do connect all right guys so now we're ready to go for a little ride i'm gonna click back on dashboards i had started the car so we can see the temp to go up the temperature go up uh got rpms on there and fuel rate i'm not gonna look at this while i'm driving but we're gonna take CSV file with all the different readings from all the different sensors back to yourself and on your computer you can take a look at those what I want to do is that I kind of want to set a baseline for this car I have been thinking about buying the Steeda tune uh, Steeda is a company out of Florida I believe that works uh, with a lot of Fords especially Mustangs and F-150s but they also have a tune specific to the Ford Fusion and that tune supposedly gives you more than a few horsepower. Basically, it uh, I think it bumps up the boost a little bit and does a few other things, which is pretty cool. So if I decide to actually do a Steeda tune on this, to give it a little bit more horsepower, not only more horsepower, but it also helps with your gas mileage, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I do drive a fair amount of miles to and from work. So if we can help with that, that would be great. But uh, I know that once I start writing to the ECU to modify uh, how the car performs I have a very good chance of my warranty no longer being in effect something to consider uh, so going back to this app as we're going through here you can see I'm looking at it still you have map so it'll actually map your drive I'm not gonna click on it um, but it should have mapped exactly where we went 
um, monitors. This is just monitors, different things going on with the system, what's available, what's not available. Uh, again, I connected to just the OB2 generic for generic stuff. Here's where you can set your logs. Um, you got to go under here's all the different files from different things that I've looked at. Uh, trips. So a lot of cool information. Here's the performance where you can get your zero. Here's your quarter mile. So it gives you a 60 foot, 330 foot, eighth mile, thousand foot, quarter mile. And then if you click on zero to 60 down the bottom right, this gives you zero to 60. So you can see that I actually tested this. I got an 8.1. So this car supposedly does closer to a seven second zero to 60. I don't think I'm going to get seven seconds in this thing as is, um, but I can probably do better than 8.1. Um, when I got on it, you know, uh, the front end got a little bit violent and kind of jumping, burning the tires. I let off a little bit and then got back into it. Uh, so I think I could probably get under eight seconds, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to be anywhere close to actually seven seconds. Um, so those are factory times that they gave based on what I found on the internet. But a lot of cool things going to set the baseline on this car and then decide if I'm going to do anything to it. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, hopefully you'll see more videos like this. I'm looking at doing a foreskin video based on what I do with that. Um, if you guys want to see me modify this car, then leave a comment. Uh, but definitely hit subscribe and let's see uh, let's see what I can do with this thing. The, the Dadmobile, the Ford Fusion 2016 Titanium. Alright guys, I'm out.